Finally, I'm going to show you how I finished this big puzzle box project on which I've been working for four videos now. Let's get started. So if you've been following this series, you know that I've been making all the sides of the puzzle box separately. In part 1, I made the two hidden symbol sides. In part 2, the symbol code and jumper wire connection sides. And in part 3, the shelf side. Now in part 4, we'll be bringing it all together. So the very first thing I'm going to do is upload this code to the Arduino Uno. Then test it by connecting everything as shown and turning it on. All the LEDs should light up red and if the servo isn't already in the locked position, it should move there. Now turn the tilt switch connected to pin 13 and check if the first LED turns green and the first symbol gets revealed. Now press all the right symbols at the same time and the second green LED should turn on, along with the second symbol and the first symbol turning off. Now for step 3 connect all 4 analog pins. If you don't know which goes where, just look at the circuit again. In my case, I already connected 3 or 4, so I just had to connect this last one, and then the third LED will turn on, and the symbol off. For the last step, I had to change the code slightly at the end. So to test it, you will have to turn pin 13 and 8 quickly on and off at the same time. If it works, the 4 LEDs will start blinking, the server will open, and you will be able to take the shelf out. Last but not least, just test if it locks when you push it back in. Alright, now we can actually start building. So first I made this model, which you can as always download in the description, and 3D printed 8 of them. As you can see, they fit perfectly with these machine screws. So to see if it would be strong enough without immediately drilling holes in the puzzle box, I took a few small pieces of wood to test the idea. As you can see, it works and holds on strong enough as expected, which means I can start drilling holes in the puzzle box. The reason I first drilled all the holes and then took it back apart to add the electronics is because I knew it would be almost impossible and definitely dangerous to start using a drill with all the small electronics already inside. Alright, now that all the holes are in place, I can take it back apart and start adding the electronics. First I'm going to remove all the pins from the Arduino so that I can solder all the wires directly to the board. First the Arduino powering circuit. Negative gets connected directly to Arduino, battery and the DC jack. And positive gets connected the same, but with the switch in between the battery and Arduino. Now if I flip the switch, the LEDs on the Arduino should light up. If they don't, check the circuit and make sure the battery is charged of course. Then connect the servo, button and LEDs from the shelf side to the Arduino. And of course also the two tilt switches. I added the second one later, but it's easier if you do it now. Connect the symbol one side to the other two sides with the machine screws and connect the LEDs to the Arduino.
Then connect the button side. And of course also the second symbol side. Now for the top part, I'm first going to connect the resistors to the right connections and glue it in place so I only have to worry about connecting the plus 5 volt and ground. Alright, now connect all the jumper wires to an analog pin from 0 to 3, the plus 5 volt to plus 5 volts on the Arduino, and of course ground to ground. But make sure to remember which wire needs to go where. I just took a photo on my phone and drew the connections. Then I just needed to finish some things off. For example, I made these small arrows for the top puzzle. Now I just needed to paint all 8 a different color. and then glue them to the corresponding connection. That way it becomes a color combination puzzle. Now the last thing I did was just print 4 small things to glue to the screws at the bottom because if you weren't careful enough they could actually leave scratches on the table. Alright, awesome, it's finally finished, you might have already found the solution to all the puzzles by just watching me build it, but anyway, here's the solution. So for the first step you basically just need to turn it upside down. It's easy and the reason I didn't put any clues for this one is because eventually when looking around, people will try to look at the bottom side anyway. Step 2, now we've unlocked the first symbol. As you can see, it's actually made up out of the vertical line, square, and 45 degree square. So now if we press all the corresponding buttons at the same time, and not any of the other ones, the second LED will turn green. Step 3. Now we'll have to find the right color combination for the wires. As you can see, the second symbol has also been revealed. And I'm afraid I might have forgotten to say this, but I actually painted the sides as you can see. Which means we can now figure out the right color code. First the top left side. It's painted black and shows the shape of a heart. Hearts, especially in this shape, are red. So that's black and red. Then we've got top right. White border with the shape of the sea. So white blue. Now bottom left. Purple border with the shape of a duck. Purple yellow. And now last, bottom right, orange border with the shape of a pine tree, so that's orange green. Now if we just connect all the wires in that combination, we've solved step 3. Last step, this one is pretty hard, it might not seem like it when I show the solution here, but I've left quite some people try to solve it, and everyone thought this one was by far the hardest one. Alright, so if you look at the bottom, you can see the shape and the 4. This 4 is for step 4, and also so you know which side is up. If you look at the top of the square, you can see some details. See a resemblance? So just tilt it in one direction and then the other as shown in that shape. Do this about 10 times and all 4 LEDs will start blinking green. 
Now you can open the shelf, take out your secret key or something and just push it in again to automatically reset the system. The puzzle box is finally done. I'm pretty sure this is the biggest project I've done on my channel and it was a lot of fun. I hope you liked the video. If you did, like and consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it.